Good morning, good morning, it's Monday, let's do this. Oh, <laughs> a little too much, too much today. Uh, welcome to day 15 of the Crazy 8 Challenge. Uh, I'm Crystal, in case you didn't know that already. Uh, and I just want to share with you what it means to host a challenge. Let me start with what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that I'm perfect. It doesn't mean that I'm going to perfectly fill out these boxes because as you can see, I don't. I was just trying to fill in from the weekend uh, what I actually did. And uh, <laughs> It wasn't completely fill out the boxes. That's what I can tell you. Um, and here's why. Um, I, not that I need a reason, uh, because excuses are just that. Even if they're good ones, they're, they're still excuses. Um, we hosted our last uh, flea market this weekend, which we've been doing for about four years. And we finally made the decision that it's time to move on um, to, to, different, to different ventures, to different adventures. Uh, and so that was, that was, uh, taxing mentally and physically. So, uh, we decided to give ourselves some grace and, and just kind of do whatever came naturally. So, um, that's what we did. And so my boxes are quite, uh, <laughs> quite empty actually. So yesterday I did get some reading in, I'm just looking here. Um, the exercise came because we certainly did a lot of that. Uh, but that's really about it. We don't want to talk about the level of calories that we consumed or the fact that we didn't even pay attention. Uh, I I think that sometimes we overestimate our ability uh, to do things when we already have a lot on our plate. And I think that's okay. Sometimes you just need to take a minute. So this is what my weekend looked like. I didn't post them on my stories because, uh, <laughs> it wasn't pretty. <laughs> um, that's actually not why I just, like I said, I was, I was taking time for myself. And so it's Monday and so we're back. And so, uh, I'm, I'm ready to, to get past that and, and go back to killing this challenge. Let's do that. Um, if you're watching this, uh, later, uh, I hope you'll share with me where you're at with the challenge, what's working, what's not, uh, and, and just let me support you in that. Uh, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing these live streams. Um, if you're not able to catch it, I get it. Not everyone is available at the same time. Um, but hopefully you'll catch it on YouTube. I will make sure to put the link in stories, um, so that you can get to that. Um, they'll always be there, ready and available for you. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, so just as a reminder for anybody who maybe is catching this uh, after we started, we started this challenge on November 1st. Um, it's called the Crazy 8 Challenge. And um, what that looks like is uh, drink more water, uh, one gallon of water, uh, two workouts, whatever that means for you in whatever way you're able to move your body, I encourage you to do that. Uh, three minutes of silence uh, might seem like a long time, but actually it goes pretty quickly just to give yourself a chance to, to reset, um, sit by yourself, no technology, no book, no, no anything, just you in your mind. Uh, time for yourself, again, whatever that looks like for you. Uh, five, is write down five things that you're grateful for every day uh, that have happened within the last 24 hours. I highly encourage it to be things that are just little things. Um, a, a child's laughter is one that I write down fairly often because it brings me joy every time I hear it. Uh, off work by six. Uh, this is about creating boundaries in your schedule for, for what you need. For me, that meant that I was done with my regular day job at 6 p.m. Um, so that I could spend the evening either working on projects for my future or I could just spend time with my partner um, doing whatever that means. So uh, seven pages of a book, some pages of a professional development book specifically, um, feed your mind. Feed your mind with new ideas, uh, new perspectives, something that will help you uh, learn and grow. Uh, and 
track what you ate. Uh, this isn't about calories. This isn't about weight loss. This isn't about uh, how many carbs you had. It's about being aware and being intentional about what you're putting in your body. Um, so many times we just kind of eat something and don't really pay attention. And, and uh, sometimes it's helpful to just know what that is. So that's where we're at with that. Um, a reminder to give yourself some grace. This isn't about perfection. This is about progress. Uh, this is about being more intentional. Um, so if for you that means that two glasses of water is more than you've ever drank um, in a day, that's progress. If uh, moving your body one time for 10 minutes every day is, is progress for you, awesome. Do that. Uh, and, and if this isn't quite enough, maybe, uh, maybe you need to push yourself a little bit more. Maybe uh, you need to spend more time in, in silence. Maybe you need to spend more time reading. Maybe you need to spend, uh, make your workouts big and bad and 45 minutes and doing all the things. Whatever it looks like for you. This isn't, this isn't a challenge for me. It is. It's on, I'm on my own journey with it. But this is about you and progress for you. Uh, and moving, uh, moving more towards a more intentional life. That's what it's all about. So, um, with that, I just wanted to hop on this morning, say happy Monday. Uh, hopefully you're starting your week strong and, uh, we just have one more week till Thanksgiving. Yay. Can't wait for that. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me what the hardest one for you, um, hardest piece for you is. I would love to hear that. Um, I'm curious. So anyway, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, I say comments below knowing that it'll be on YouTube and you'll be able to do that because this will disappear on Instagram. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hopefully uh, you have a good day. Uh, have the, More than a good day, I hope you have the day that you need. See you soon.